talk turkey. No, wait a minute. Let's talk turnkey. You see what I did there? <laughs> I got a great question sent to me by a subscriber. A question that is probably on the minds and hearts of a lot of folks looking into corrections. It says, by no means do I consider myself tough or able to fight. Do I need these qualifications in order to be a CEO to be a correctional officer? Woohoo! I love this question. You're going to want to stick around for this. Before I dive in and share my insight, I want to thank the Just Corrections Patreon community for sponsoring this video. Mwah! I love you guys. So is being tough a requirement, a, a prerequisite for becoming a correctional officer? Does knowing how to fight, does having experience in some sort of something give you an advantage? Better prepare you for the job. Maybe. Uh, depends, perhaps. So let's look at what being tough is. Tough is being strong enough to withstand adverse conditions or careless handling. Tough is also being able to endure hardship, pain, and difficulty. Tough can also mean being a rough and violent person. So let's start at the bottom. Do you need to be a rough and violent person to work inside of a prison or a jail? No! In fact, if you are a rough and violent person, you probably won't last very long in this profession. Not anymore. Corrections has changed, is changing. The old school ground and pound is now redirection and progressive discipline. Violence is being replaced by verbal directives and uses of force are being scrutinized like never before. And I'm okay with all that. But that means that we as officers need to remain in control, professional. We need to regulate our behavior and stick within our policy. Violence may be a part of that, but it's controlled. It's legally defensible. Do you have to be violent? No. Is there a possibility that you may have to use violence during the course of your career? I don't like the word violence. It, it has a negative connotation. So let's use force. Is there a possibility that you may have to use force during the course of your correctional career? Yes, absolutely. And when we use force to restrain, to prevent injury to meet the legitimate correctional objective, it must be done in a controlled manner. We use force to stop violence. Does that make sense? When the threat is over, when the fighting stops, so do we. So let's maybe word it like this. Do you have to be willing to use force to protect yourself, uh, fellow staff, volunteers, and the incarcerated to be a correctional officer? Yes, yes you do. You also have to be able to endure hardship, pain, and difficulty. Hardship may be a little harsh, but pain both physically and mentally. Yes, this career is difficult, <laughs> it's demanding. Concrete everywhere, metal, wire, walls, stairs, everything. Falling, tripping, cracking your head on a metal bunk. Yeah, it's all of that. So to a degree, you have to be tough. Some attempt to soften it up, but it is what it is. But it kind of sucks. And you have to be a little tough to work inside. Tough also means being able to withstand adverse conditions. Yeah, that pretty much sums up the correctional environment. Being tough enough to withstand the adverse conditions and the careless handling is a must. Careless handling, in my opinion, would be the constant, never-ending force-feeding of overtime that is plaguing us right now. Or the lack of humanity that exists in our profession. <laughs> That's a whole nother video. I'll have to do that later. So yes, in my professional opinion, you have to be tough. What was the other part? Sometimes I get lost in my... Oh yeah, do I need to know how to fight? I say no. But I want to know what you think. In the comments below, should you know how to fight, yes or no? I'll give you a second to lock in your answers. And time! I say no for a couple of reasons. Number one, your agency is going to teach you some form of self-defense that they're going to want you to use because it is legally defendable. If they teach you how to do a brachial stung and you pull out some crab maga from behind choke thing, you're probably going to end up in a little bit of a pickle. I will say that I think you need to be confident in your ability to react and defend yourself if need be. This is sort of like the tough thing. Do you need to be a fighter or have experience in fighting? No. But do you need to be willing and ready to fight should the occasion arise? Yes. Does that help? Look, corrections is a contact sport, and at some point, you're probably going to have to put hands on somebody. So if you don't think that you could do that, well, then maybe this isn't the right choice for you. But if you think you can, if you're willing to be trained and taught to use force in accordance with policy, then give it a try. I wasn't a fighter. I'm still not. I don't consider myself tough. Well, maybe a little. I guess I'm tough, but just enough. I'll fight, but only if I have to. But I don't carry myself like a badass, if that makes sense. Hope that helps point you in the right direction. If you're watching and you have some other tips or pointers 
for us on this topic, then drop it in the comments. If you liked this video, if you found value in this video, straight punch that little like icon. And if you're looking for more premium correctional content, check out this video right here. <laughs> or this video right here. All right, guys, that's all I got. Until next time, be smart, stay safe, stay sane.